Top 3 versus IMAP, which one should you choose? In this video we will demonstrate the difference between POP3 and IMAP email protocols and help you decide which one to use. To start, let's learn exactly what POP3 and IMAP are. POP3 and IMAP are protocols used to connect your mailbox server to an email client. So basically, this allows you to send and receive your email. These include desktop clients such as Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird, an online webmail interface such as Gmail or 123Mail, or on your email app on a mobile device such as a tablet or smartphone. POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol and has been around for many years. POP3 downloads your mail as you view it on your email client. It's great for users who only want to access their mail from one client. The downloaded mail then exists on the selected client and becomes unavailable to download via another client. However, some email clients do allow the option to keep a copy of their emails on the server. Please note that this is an advanced feature of POP3 and does not mean that your emails are synced. If you delete an email on one client, it may not be deleted in an alternative client. You may have to do this manually. So what is IMAP then? Well, IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. IMAP simply connects to the mailbox and allows you to view your email rather than downloading it. It is a more modern email protocol and designed to support our lifestyles by allowing you to easily view email from multiple locations. Unlike POP3, your emails will be synced, so if you delete an email in one client and then check it on an alternative client, it will also be deleted. So for example, you go to bed and overnight a stack of emails start to build up on your mail server. When you wake up and access your mail from your phone, POP3 directly downloads the emails to your phone for you to view, which completely removes them from the server. Whereas using IMAP, it would mean that you receive a copy of the emails while the original emails stay on your mail server. Later on in the day, you want to check your emails on your computer. Using POP3 to connect to your mail server means you can only download new emails which have been received since you last checked your phone in the morning. If you have configured your mail server with IMAP, then a copy of your recent emails, as well as any previous emails, will be available to view on your computer, while the original emails will stay on the mail server. Now we know the basics of POP3 and IMAP, let's have a look at the differences to help you decide which one to use. Which protocol you use is dependent on your lifestyle and how you want to access your emails. IMAP is best if you want to access your emails from multiple locations, clients and devices, as it doesn't require downloading your email content. Because of this, if anything were to happen to your computer or mobile device, you would be able to easily connect to your emails. POP3 is a simple choice, which allows you to download all of your mail in one location managed by you. However, if your device breaks down, you will not be provided with backup unless you have already manually backed up your emails or were given the option to leave a copy of the emails on the server. We therefore recommend using IMAP as it gives you the ability to manage your email from a client or device whilst providing peace of mind that should anything go wrong with your device, you can still access your emails.